Hey friend. So I figured I would do this quick little video to kind of give you my journey, um, my lock journey and why I decided to do this. Now, of course, I am sitting in my car because my daughter has practice. And, you know, as a mom, we just got to get in where we can fit in. But I've been trying to do this video forever. So I'm like, you know what? And try, instead of trying to have like this scenery and doing all of this crazy stuff, just hit the, you know, hit the record button and go. So let's just say a long story short i have been through so many different things with my hair that i decided to finally lock it and i am currently now in the three month stage of my lock journey but um it didn't all start off like that so let's talk about it so if you are locked feel free to um add some tips in the comments i am a diyer so i do not have a loctician at the moment i do plan on finding one but i am very selective when it comes to my hair and who i allow to put their hands in my head and so how i started my journey off was basically my niece she does she does braids and her her expertise is braids like knotless you know the knotless braids and stuff like that and so how i started mine off was it is braided at the root and then um the two strand twist and that's the style that we have done on my head previous before with extension here and so i was like that's how i wanted to start my locks so when i started my locks i'm going to show you a brief little like a little video just to give you a clip but i'm going to explain it first and um and basically what i did was i started off of course i have low i have fine low density hair and then if you know anything about fine low density hair baby daddy okay so um what i you know I, my hair does have a name and her name is miracle because i literally feel like with all that i have been through just throughout life and how my hair shedded and so many things that i went through i am surprised i have the amount of hair that i have now so i am eternally grateful for that oh, however um i really went through a i know locks is a journey but baby <laughs> these first three months was a journey well actually i'm going to say four months because i started and then i had to take all of that out and start over mm -hmm. yep so what had happened was of course me having fine low density hair i know i am not the only one but you know what what's the one thing that we always want a full head of hair and so i originally i sent my you know need some videos and uh, we was all on the same page and like how this is going to go about but the actual hair that i got was qvr hair and i'm going to say it's no shade to the company however the hair i do not believe that it's like what they say it's all you know curly and all this stuff it is not all right I, if i got a bad batch then i have a bad batch so i'm speaking of the batch that i have and i also heard other people talk, speak about this i don't really like to down companies but i have yet to see anybody that i know of that that hair actually was it, the curly or this like this is my hair i don't if you guys it's kind of hard to really i'll give a close-up but my hair isn't that it's very co coily and so the hair just did not like the first patch of hair i had i had to constantly keep riding it because it did not it was not curling um and so but i had way too much hair in my head so in the first clip of the video you're going to see me with all this hair and my parts were super small i was like i knew over time this was going to rip my hair out and besides like i was trying to show my niece how to do the reties or whatever so she got the hang of it and she just was getting happy and the next day i was like like my head was like it was like pulsating and I was like, this is too tight. I have to get this out of my hair. So it took me a total of 24 hours. So it was three different days, eight hours a day to get that out of my hair. And so after doing that, I do, did more research. Um, and I realized that I still wanted to get extensions in my hair because I just did not, I didn't feel comfortable with just having my hair, my own hair twisted. I thought it was going to be super, super scalpy and i just wasn't comfortable with that so i tried a different hair the hair was and again you'll see in the clip like the hair was curly it was it started off being curly um but when my niece put it in it's like the hair again it's like almost like shredded wheat hair so you gotta kind of like 
this particular hair like you really had to kind of piece it together to really make a long strand but she didn't really know how to do that because that's again that's not her expertise so what wound up happening was she was just using the pieces that she had and so some were short long and you'll see in that video that's what was ha actually happening and i didn't like that so i went back through and added it in so when you see the last clip is like having kind of like that bob so it's like the first phase that i had to wind up taking out and the second phase was with when she just put it in and it was kind of like kind of choppy and so the third phase was the same hair i just added to it but i did it showing you a before and after of me doing my own retie so i wanted to make sure so this is i done did my own retie's i think three times now this is so um i got the hang of the retie's but on my third month anniversary i decided to take my extensions out before i went on vacation i just out of nowhere i was just like i started taking a few of them out and then i decided to actually take them all out because it, I, I don't know i just didn't feel like my it looks good in pictures but to me in real life it just it seemed like my curl pattern was trying to work with that other hair and it was mashed it just wasn't a good feel so once i took that hair out it was like it was just like ah like my hair felt so better but i had to get used to it um and i'm still trying to get used to it but nonetheless i love the way it looks in real life video doesn't really give it that much justice i'm gonna just be honest it's just like the video does not like me but no i'm gonna definitely trust the process but i'm so glad i went through that because i know people would say you don't don't get extensions it's not that you know it'll mess up your hair and this that, that. and then you have people to say it's okay you can get it make sure you get the right person and da, 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 da. so and i get all of that but i'm perfectly okay with doing this process on my own and if you know if i messed my hair up it's my hair to mess up and i'm okay with that but it's another thing to have someone else do your hair and they messed your hair up and now you just have to live with that you know type of thing right so through the journey of my hair process i have done what dealt with so many different people who in turn they actually you know like like not locticians like beauticians cosmetologists however you stylists you know what i mean hair stylists they have so many different names now where they contributed a, a, a great percentage of messing my hair up because they didn't know how to deal with fine low density hair even though they say they do but they did not and so this this time around i wanted to give my hair i knew i would take the time and i would nurture my hair um it's not like i have not dealt with hair i had daughters you know what i mean they have a good healthy hair head of hair so i wanted to take this personal journey myself so all of my diyers like hit me up in the comments let me know how things are going any uh tips or tricks that you have and i understand everybody's hair is different so trying out different things um is like a must for me like i'm not going to just go with one like i have my own hair oils that i've always used i make myself so i use those um and i always heard of rose oil i, I do have that as well um but like i said um and i use suave it's a clarifying suave shampoo which i was shocked because i'm like suave but it works wonders on my hair so again i know i i was one of those people like if i go lock i want lock everything everything gotta say it's just for locks and you know and that's great and but a lot of that stuff be cap and so i just wanted to make sure i'm giving my hair all the love and care that i can possibly give it um while i find me a loctician because of course I understand you know sometimes things happen and you may need to get you know some touch-ups and stuff like that and so that i may not be fully aware of what to do and how to do but in the meantime in between time i think i'm doing a pretty good job with my hair and so i just want to encourage anybody else that's out there that want to get on this journey that's thinking about you know like doing locks and also too it gets it's it's freeing for me because i'm a very busy mom and i didn't get locks just so i don't have to do my hair okay because you maintenance on locks is uh it is a doozy it is it, work but it's um i did this is because my hair flourishes more when i don't have to mess with it as much and so it was like perfect for me i done tried every style possible when it comes to my hair and i've been wanting with locks for a while but i didn't want the traditional locks and i didn't know this was a thing that you can actually start your locks this way and so again i've been probably for about a good year now have been like 
looking into different videos and different stuff so yes i went to youtube university not to mention i do have stylists in my you know life they can still give me hair tips and tricks as well so it's not like i'm totally went into this blind but just to say if you are a person a mom like myself that it's like you're, you're trying to i'm trying to find you know working on having more time for myself not i'm i'm a person that where i've been to you know just a line getting your hair done every week hair done every two weeks i'm just kind of like over that even though i can't wait for my hair to really grow out so i can have do other styles and stuff of that nature but i just want to have more of a freeing life and me locking my hair was freedom for me as well as for my hair so that's why i chose to do it but um stay tuned for more because this channel is really all about just mom life and of course i am into style i'm into fashion so putting all of that stuff together but just also talk about some mom shit you know what i mean so yeah uh please leave a comment let me know your thoughts let me know your journey i am like excited to like to hear about other people's journey and how they are flourishing with their locks and even if you didn't like you had issues or whatever with your locks you know you feel free to share because everybody this journey isn't like i know for everybody and some people was like over it and didn't you know stop their lock journey but i'm a newbie i am very excited about the journey even though i'm, I'm not a fan of this phase but i feel like that instant gratification lasted for that first quarter you know what i mean but i was like i feel like if i continue in this in the way that i'm going i'm going to hate it and so I was like, if I reverse this and take the hair out and just go through this this phase as it begins to do its thing, I'm going to fall in love. It's just like, I just, it's like, it's a personal feeling that I know that's going to happen. So I hope this encourages someone else and stay tuned because there will be more. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button.